Pariza Wakik, Wasek, Wak, Wasik. This before. Hello everyone, it's your girl Jay, and today I am here with my August TBR for 2020. If you are new to my channel, then you do not know this, but my mom always picks my TBR and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with it. So this month's theme is family and you guys will see that when you see the titles. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that she has is Kin by Lily St. Crow because, you know, your kin is your family. So this author in this series is like horror fairy tale retellings. I've read Nameless in this series and I did not like it that much. I ended up unhauling it and I'm assuming I'm probably not gonna like this one either because I really did not like the other one. This one is a Red Riding Hood retelling and I read the back synopsis and the love interest name is Conrad and fun fact, if I was a boy, my name would have been Conrad so I'm already a little weirded out because it's like I'm reading about myself but whatever. We're gonna hopefully like this one more than I liked Nameless by the same author but we shall see. Next book is is Son of a Trickster. This is by Eden Robinson. Son. Family. This book follows a boy named Jared who is your typical stoner. He's literally always high and his maternal grandmother has never really liked him and he's never really known why. She always says that he is a son of a trickster and not human and then ravens begin to speak to him even when he's not high and it's like the story of that. So I'm definitely intrigued and I've always loved this cover because it, I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm hoping that it's focused. There's like raven feathers all over it and I just think it's real pretty so I'm actually excited for this one. Next one has been on my TBR since like I started this channel back in like what was it 2015? A long time ago. But it is The Stolen Twin by Michelle Pariza Wasik. This book follows Kit who is a senior in high school. She is dating the school's quarterback named Tommy but she actually has a very dark past. When she was seven years old her sister Kat was kidnapped never to be seen again until one Halloween night when she believes that she sees Kat and she decides that she's going to get to the bottom of what really happened to Kat and that whole night. So yeah, kidnapping story. I'm a huge fan of those on this channel which is creepy but I am. I'm not gonna say sorry for it. I'm not sorry about it. I like kidnapping stories, so I'm definitely intrigued by this one. The next one I have is The Perfect Mother. This is by Amy Molloy. This follows a group of mothers who call themselves the May Mothers because all of their babies are born in May. They decide that they are going to go out for a drink one night. One of the mothers is very hesitant to leave their baby alone, and that's when they end up going missing, and it starts this huge kerfuffle of trying to find the missing baby and a bunch of secrets come out and it's like the story of that. We're here for thrillers. We love thrillers on this channel so I'm definitely excited about this one. The next one I'm probably the most excited about because everybody and their mother seems to freaking love this book and I finally have it in my hands because my parents got it for me for finishing my first year of teacher's college because it was a miserable time and we don't want to talk about that but it is the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Like I said, everybody freaking loves this book and I've wanted to join the bandwagon so I'm like praying that I also like it because I'm going to be so mad if I don't like it because literally everybody gives it 5 out of 5 stars so I'm going to be pissed if I don't like it. Next book is Odd Child Out by Jillian McMillan. This has been on my TBR for a thousand trillion million years. Every single time I put it on my TBR, my mom puts it on my TBR, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna read it. I've had it in my overdrive on my phone for like six months and just never actually click it because then other audiobooks come in and I get really excited about it. I don't even remember what it's about. I think it's like these two kids go missing and then one of them comes back and it's like an investigation and the one won't tell the officers like what happened or anything like that so it's like them trying to like fight about it but it also has like other issues that it discusses like racism and stuff I don't know but we have it on our TBR are we actually gonna read it this time who really knows and then the last book that she picked is Firstborn. This is by Laurie Ann Grover, and I'm a little hesitant about this book. It's about a girl named Tia Doan who is born into, like, a tribe where males are dominant. And if you are a female, you are supposed to be left outside of the gates of this tribe to be, like, 
killed off, I guess. But her parents decide that they are going to raise her as a male and suppress her female qualities. She is basically being forced to be male and then she starts getting her female you know, parts and bits and things start getting a little tricky for her and it's like the story of that. But I don't know, I just, it's, it's questionable, you know? It's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of not excited to read this one, but it is very short. I haven't like looked up any reviews or anything to see if it's like not problematic or not, but I'm really hoping it's not because I hope it's like a nice story about how we shouldn't do that to our children, but... I guess we'll see when we read it. Alright everybody, so that was my August TBR for this time around. Hopefully I actually read some of these books, who knows, because I have not been reading very much because of William and working, so I guess we'll see how it goes. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!